In this lecture, we'll be taking a look at how we can create a routing and navigation in our application. So over here till now, we had one page which was just showing the list items based on the number of times this plus button was clicked. Now in this one, what we'll do is whenever we are clicking on any of these list items, it will take us to the next screen. In order to build the next screen, we need to follow what we have over here. So you can see to create a screen, we need to have a class which either extends state widget or stateless widget. In our case, we are extending stateless widget. And then we need to implement the override method build, which in turn contains, if I explore over here, it's returning scaffold that is having app bar and the app bar is then having title. And then we are having body over here and next whatever is required. So the same goes over here with our next page. We are having scaffold, passing the app bar over here and then setting the title of the next screen as this is the next screen. Then we are having a body. Now that body is containing a child, which is nothing but a raised button. Now clicking on that raised button, that is the on pressed event, we are making use of the navigator.pop method. Now navigator is actually responsible for navigating between screens. So if I have to go back, I will make use of navigator.pop method and I'll pass the context over here. And if I have to go to the next screen, I'll make use of navigator.push method, which we'll be exploring pretty soon. And then here the button text will be reading back. So on clicking on the back button, we'll be going back to the first screen. Now here, when we need to click on the list item, what we need to do is make use of the on tap event. Now on clicking off on tap, we're making use of navigator.push and then we're passing the context and the page name. So here we make use of material page route. We pass the builder, context is a function and then this is the name of the class on which we want to go or name of the page you can say. So on top of this, it will take us to the next page. So let's go ahead now and run this application and see it in action. So here we have our application. Currently we are having two list items. If I click any one of them, you can see that it takes us to the next screen and it says this is the next screen. This is the raised button saying back. If I click on this one, I'll go back to the first screen. You can also make use of this back arrow to do the same. So that's how easy it is to route and navigate in Flutter.